Howdy. I'm Gray Pilgrim. Well, recently my cousin dropped by and he found two magazines. Uh, my cousin is one of those gifted people who uh, you ask him, uh, you know, if you can ever find me a left-handed widget that uh, was used in a such and such uh, uh, thing that was built in 1934. And he says, oh, just happened to have. Picked one up at Goodwill the other day. He just He's that kind of guy. Well, he, he had a couple of magazines, and he thought maybe I could use this one because that's a Colt uh, 1911 magazine, and I've got a commander over there, so it would jut out the bottom a bit, but uh, but it'll work. It was just completely covered in rust. These both were when I, when I got them. So I, I did the one thing that, that gunsmiths say you should never do. I wire wheeled them just to get the rust off and then oiled them down well. This one I thought was a Tokarev magazine, but it's too fat. So I went, well, what in the heck? Oh, yeah. It's the same as this. This is a uh, CZ38 magazine. So uh, son of a gun. I now have two. CZ38s, I think you, I've, I've done a, a video on this one before. It's just a, a beautiful weapon, and you can do this when you're uh, field stripping it. Take a look here. Do you see these two little roundy pin things here? The way this works is when the spring is compressed, these are driven out of these two little uh, hemispheres in the side here in the, in the slide. And then this thing here is free to move. Uh, then when it goes back into battery, these things lock in again. So that's the, the lock and unlock system that this uses. The only other gun I know of that uses this is the G3 or all the Heckler & Koch designs based on the G3. But the, uh, the, the Czechs did it with this clunky thing. Granted, besides that interesting and innovative feature, this gun is by its nature, kind of clunky. Come on now. And it's a bear to get back together again. It's easy to come apart. Very easy to come apart, but it can be problematic to put back together. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, anyway, this does fit this. It's a little bit rough. I, I think that you know, years of sitting there in a pile of rust uh, did something to it. This one's much smoother, so uh, I think I need to work on this some more. But uh, at least I've got a spare magazine now, and that's kind of fun. I mean, this is not exactly an easy gun to find things for. Most of my guns are that way. You know, I have a, an old uh, uh, Sauer and uh, Sauer und Son of Schul, which is a uh, Sauer and Son of Schul. Uh, gun over there that I, when I got it, it had no magazine, and I ordered one from Nimrich. It's the last one they had, so I've got one magazine for it. Uh, but others, <coughs> finding a magazine is a bit, a bit difficult at times. And this one's not die near, near impossible. So, but nothing special today, just I got a new magazine, and I thought that was kind of, for this, for this gun, and I think that's kind of unusual. <laughs> Anyway, happy trails.